love with. Um, are, we, are we gonna be able to have our cake and eat it too? Are we gonna be able to have clean and efficient cars that also you know, make you feel? Of course we sure. are, because that's human nature, that's really what we want. And you know, cars are, I think, one of the most emotional objects that, that you know, we actually spend an outrageous amount of money on. And even people who claim they're not interested in cars, if they buy a car that costs more than $10,000, they are interested in cars. Because, you know, any car under $10,000 can move you from A to B. Uh, and we should really all be driving around minivans, if that was the case, yeah. that we were just thinking about, you know, the, the efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we are not. And I think because we are not, uh, you know, I think personal transportation, even when we go back before the car with a horse, you know, has always been something that was more than just getting from A to B. It was about speed, it was about status, it was about what, what you want to project to society, who you are, what you stand for. And I think the dramatic change that's happening right now is that I think the fact that you're doing something for the environment or, you know, making a statement about, you know, not importing foreign oil, I think those statements are starting to enter the car scene. But it doesn't mean that we can't have all the other exciting things that we love about cars. Sexy design, high performance, and that's exactly what we're doing because we feel that's the needs we want to fulfill. Now there's still somebody that has to make minivans, like Chrysler, and they're, they're going to fulfill that niche or that part of the market. And there's still something that's going to have to make some little hatchbacks, and there's going to be you know, somebody making large luxury limousines, but they will be powered by much more fuel efficient, clean powertrains uh, what we have to make sure, I think, is, and that's why I see the dramatic change, I think what this new powertrain generation is going to give us is possibly, at least that's what we have seen, it's given me personally the possibility to again offer a much more exciting, sexy design that I was able to do in the last couple of years in a normal car company because we have been so driven by conventional packaging uh, engines that was a certain size, transmissions, etc. That really a lot of people today say, well, there's no difference between cars and more. Yeah, you're to a certain extent right because everybody's working within millimeters to the same package. What's happening in the future is you're going to see a lot of different variations of proportional cars. And what we're showing out here today, if you go and take a look at the Fisker Karma, I guarantee you have never in your entire life seen a four-door car that looks like this car. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say that you know today the technology seems very unique and different, and, you know, very foreign to most people. But you know there'll be a point where electric drive will become a commodity, and, and people will not buy a Chrysler versus somebody else because of our electric motor we've applied for the prismatic cell. It's all about the integration and the user experience. You know we own the user experience to the customers that buy our products, and how we differentiate ourselves is really more on the emotional side. It's not on the rational side is being able to provide that off-road experience or be able to provide that performance uh, you know drive you know, with with the dodge that's key and then back to, to Kevin's comment you know when we look at sort of all the you know ethnographic data that we've got you know people resonate in stages of their life you know around an automobile you know their first drive you know from the hospital was in a car you know, your first experience in high school that was, you know, memorable. From being in a car. <laughs> you know, be, being able to make these transformations, the rite of passage as a child to drive, to be in the front row. You know, there's really a, a lot of emotional ties to vehicles. You know, all the way to the last drive we'll all take will be in a car. So, so you know, those, those are pieces that are really going to still motivate and bring energy to, to this industry.